This video was recorded with the Aver Media Live Gamer Portable. Skip it up and that up. So Iwata thinks the public image of Nintendo will be changed. Shout out goes to YouTube user Bluehawk TV. I'll have a link to his channel below in the description. He feels that if Nintendo moves more Wii U consoles, the public image of the Wii U will be more positive. This is what Satoru Iwata had to say. So what we really need to do now is to launch software titles for the Wii U that can take advantage of its unique aspects one after the other. So much so that a great number of people are able to touch the Wii U and feel how unique it is. We need to expand the number of such people. And once the number of people has reached critical mass, I think the public view of Nintendo will be changed. I also think this list of games that are coming out will help too. Uh, Pikmin 3 coming out in August. Look what it did in Japan. I'll talk about that again in a second. The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD in October. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I could care less about that, but that's coming out in November. I'm sure it'll move units. And Super Mario 3D Land is coming out in December. Next year, we have Mario Kart 8 and an all-new Super Smash Bros. title. You know those will sell units. On top of that, too, Iwata talked about they're coming out with a brand new Legend of Zelda. That's all he really said about that, but you know that's going to be epic. I mean, I'm not a huge Zelda fan, but I'm even excited about that. I feel like I'm Gibbs from NCIS and Nintendo is Dinozo, and I just want to walk up behind him and slap him in the head and be like, yeah, you dumbass. Of course, I mean, look at what happened just with Pikmin 3 in Japan, and Pikmin 3 isn't a huge, I mean, it's a popular Nintendo IP, but it's not like Zelda or Mario or Metroid, and it moved units. Why, again, I've talked about this a billion times, why, again, did you not have one of those huge titles, not all of them, I'm not saying blow your whole load at once, but why didn't you have at least one AAA first party exclusive Nintendo to come out with the Wii U when it launched? And don't give me Super Mario Bros. U, that, that was just an HD version of the Wii version in my opinion. It's a good game, I enjoy the hell out of it, I still own it, but they needed to step up their game more than that, no pun intended. Now, I know a lot of people are going to go into the defense and say, hey, Rich, they were still building the hardware. They didn't know what to develop for yet because they needed a finalized version of the Wii U to develop these AAA games for. Well, let me ask you a question. There's an article out there um, from Capcom and Microsoft talking about Dead Rising 3. You know what Capcom did with Microsoft? They made the game alongside the Xbox One. They got a very early dev kit and they just kept working with the upgrades and the changes to the Xbox One so the game could be a launch title or close to launch. I'm not sure if Dead Rising 3 is going to be a launch title. If it is, someone say down below in the description, but you get the point. It's coming out near launch with the Xbox One because they worked on it from the get-go. Now imagine even if like Zelda wasn't a launch title, a new Legend of Zelda for the Wii U wasn't a launch title, but it came out, it, it, people knew it was going to come out in a couple months or six months from the launch of the Wii U. People would still buy the Wii U in anticipation just for the damn game because they know less than a year later they're going to have a new epic Zelda game. Come on, folks, you can't deny it. So my question to Nintendo is, if Microsoft and Capcom, and Capcom is a third-party company that isn't directly attached to Microsoft, if they can work together and get a game out for the launch of the Xbox One because they built the game from the ground up with the hardware, why couldn't you do it, Nintendo? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Why couldn't you do it? And, I mean, again, look at Pikmin. Games that are exclusive help sell the console, Pikmin 3 in Japan is proof. And oh, by the way, Dead Rising 3 is a launch title for the Xbox One. I just checked that now. Anyway, folks, make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you have an interesting news story you would like me to discuss, private message me with a link via YouTube. And if I use your news article, I will give you a shout out in the video and feature your YouTube channel in the description. Have a good one.